Hello friends, good morning, welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. It is December 7th, we have made it a full week. What is this? So crazy. It is a beautiful Tuesday today. We have some good plans today, including some festive things because I just finished editing day six vlog, so we're definitely doing great on timing and everything. So plans for today includes which hopefully running doesn't take too long of my day but plans for today include we're about to go to walmart i need to go pick up some groceries and get stuff for dinner tonight and so we are going to go do that that's going to take a minute but hopefully we'll be as quick as possible i have a list ready and then we are going to come back i need to pick up a package at our package room on my way back and then we are going to just unload groceries maybe go ahead and make my lunch and I have a dish I want to make for lunch this week, but I might not cook it today just depending on timing and everything. So we'll see if I like actually cook it today or if I wait for another day to cook it. And then things I want to do today include I need to go running. I have I think like a speed workout I need to do. Speed workouts are not my favorite. I just don't do well on them and I get like really overwhelmed when my heart rate gets high. So obviously I would hope my heart rate gets high during the speed workout. So yeah speed workout today for marathon training and that might take a minute it's super gloomy out but i don't think it's gonna rain today so we should be good there and then i really want to decorate our tree because we haven't decorated our tree i didn't have any time yesterday and i didn't want to rush it too much i want to have time to like really enjoy and watch a christmas movie and put on some hot cocoa and maybe make some we have the little pillsbury cookies that have like the elf hat and the christmas tree i want to make some of those we love those in our household so it's it's gonna be a fun day and then i want to cook dinner we're making these teriyaki turkey rice bowls things which we always love to make it's a pretty easy dish and it's quick and efficient so that should be good and honestly other than that i don't have a lot i need to wash my hair today always a hard life and um, just get a couple things done around the house but nothing too crazy it should be a really cozy festive vlog i want to cross off some of my christmas movies off my list and maybe even start like sorting out presents and everything that would be super fun but yeah it should be a chill day here at home we're gonna enjoy it to the best so yeah, let's get started and head to Walmart. Hey friends, I just got back from the grocery store. If you hear Nathan, he is on a call, so hopefully it's not too, too loud. I am feeling a little anxious, like a lot anxious. I, or more stressed, I guess is the better word for it, but um, we just have some stuff coming up with the coffee car. We're supposed to have a really busy weekend and I'm really nervous because this Sunday we had someone reach out about an event and they expressed interest and said they want to book us and we sent them a contract and they haven't replied back and unfortunately she gave us such last minute notice we had to prepare as if we were doing it because there's so many shipping delays with getting coffee and everything and we haven't heard from her. So I'm a little nervous that she, and I think like the nice thing to do and the respectful thing to do in these cases is if you're not going to book with us to at least let us know the second you decide that. So we're not planning and preparing and sending you contracts and you're not answering us. So I'm a little nervous, um, but we're going to hope it works out and saturday is supposed to be really bad weather and i have a feeling they're gonna cancel the market and we bought so much coffee for this week and and if like we have to sell the coffee and we don't get a lot of coffee orders normally just out of the blue so i just am trying to figure out how we're gonna market that in a way to be able to sell a ton a ton a ton a ton of coffee and then we're gonna be going out of town like the next week so just a little stressed but we're gonna figure it out we're gonna take some prayer time and pray that it all works itself out it's a tad bit stressful running your own business because you always like assume the best in people and sometimes it doesn't always work out and things are out of your control when you don't own the space and that's like the great thing about mobile cart is that we're mobile but it's a horrible thing it's like we can't control anything we can't control the weather or the circumstances so but God's got us. He's 
going to work and we are just going to see what happens and try not to worry about it too, too much. But I did go to the grocery store. I came back. I just wanted to give you all that little checkup because I feel in my heart, I'm like <laughs> very anxious. We are going to make some lunch. I think I'm just going to have a sandwich because I don't really feel like cooking. Nathan just cooked. I don't want to make more of a mess and I have to cook tonight. Um, and I want to get started on the Christmas stuff and I need to go for a run. Maybe we'll go for a run and then do the Christmas stuff. I'm not sure the order, but yeah, let's get to it. definitely not running it was definitely walking i started so i really wanted to go to a treadmill in the apartment place but it like i couldn't even get in the door like the door was locked the key wouldn't let me in i didn't know what to do i didn't want to have to go talk to the people upstairs the bad thing about being an introvert so i didn't really know what to do and i was already feeling in a funk and nathan could tell poor nathan um because I, I just told him i'm just like feeling a little anxious today um i i just get like this sometimes my girls anyone else feel like this at times i just am feeling like so on the edge of being really emotional where like if one thing goes wrong i have a feeling i'm gonna like start bawling which is just not a healthy place to be or a good place to be. And honestly, I don't think the coffee stuff really bothered me that badly today. I think other things are bothering me and that's like adding on to it. So I'm trying to breathe and know that things are going to work out. And I just want to turn around in my day because I'm just feeling really in a funk and there's no reason to be feeling like this. So first off... When things like this start happening, I like to think of things that like would bring me joy. So we're going to go head to a coffee shop, which I've been, been to this coffee shop in a couple of years and we weren't really into coffee that much when we visited this shop. It's kind of a drive another 15, 20 minutes away from here, like north of Alpharetta. It's called Belux, B-E-L-U-X. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Coffee roasters. And they're supposed to supposedly have really cute friends i had to abruptly stop the last video because there was people coming in the parking lot and they would have thought i was actually crazy so we are now we drove 20 minutes we are at the lux coffee roasters it looks really cute things i don't like about for example they're in a, a little shopping area and there is another coffee place don't get me wrong it's a donut place but like what leaser would have let that happen? I just hope they're doing well. I always like feel for small coffee shops. Coffee is like a very low profit business. Like you do not make much. Like when we give people drinks, I think they think that we're like taking this huge profit. I'm like, we make like 50 cents off this. Like <laughs> we can't even take an income from it. So trust me, this is not to take advantage of you. We just have to charge what we have to charge to like make it through and have a business and run it. But yeah, we are here. So we're going to go look for a gift for Stephanie, um, our volunteer employee friend, and see if we can find something for her. I'm looking for like a mug or something. I don't even know if she has a grinder, so I don't really want to get her anything that would require grinding beans. So I feel like a mug is really safe. So we're gonna go look for that and see what we can find. And I'm gonna get coffee because I need coffee. So we'll see what we can get. Let's do it. We are back home. I have my coffee. That was a fun experience. It was definitely a different shop. So I walked in and they looked at me as if I was like their only customer of the day. So I was like, hi see a menu I've never been here and so she showed me the menu I was like oh cool can I get like a cappuccino they're definitely known for like their pour overs and stuff I'm gonna get 
I like cappuccinos and espresso, so we got a cappuccino and it's actually pretty good. Um, very strong because they didn't have any flavors. Well, I didn't really ask, but I assumed they didn't have any flavors. But I came home and put some maple in it, so I honestly need something really strong because I'm oh, hitting my midday slump. It's like almost four o'clock. I wanted to show y'all what I got. Nathan should be on a meeting. Poor guy. He came out and I was like, are you making it? Cause I think he's just like end of year rush is like happening right now. And he was like, just, I was like, is there anything I can do for you? And he's like, just, just enjoy life for me. <laughs> Being very dramatic. Um, all right, so I want to show you. So this is the name of the coffee place. I'm, not, I'm sure they do online stuff. I definitely know for their roasting because she asked me if I wanted to like, get any bags and I was like honestly no I just need to get some mugs because we have a lot of bags right now I'm scared of buying any coffee at the moment so this it says slow coffee style Kento I think is like the brand and it's gonna be a mug this one's for Stephanie I try to get just a basic simple they had a black one but I don't think she's into black so this is the mug I does not want to focus today. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll zoom in on these in a second because it's just not cooperating at the moment. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's beautiful. It's super cute. It's like a navy blue ceramic inside, but honestly, it feels really good and like really sturdy. Like, I feel like it could probably go through dishwasher. I would probably not do that. But really cute and a great size, like not too jumbo. So that's for Stephanie. And I kind of had to ask her to help me with this one because they had a set up there and I was like, I want that. But it was for tea, but Nathan will love it. So it's in this huge box. <laughs> Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Sorry guys, I'm trying to hide myself because it really wants to focus on me, but it cannot focus on me. Anyways, so we have this super cute 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 little mug i'm obsessed it's perfect size for like a cortado i'll make sure to zoom in on these in a second and then it comes with a little coaster is this one it's so cute so it was set up in the store like this and i was like i have to have this exactly so i'm obsessed i think it's amazing so i think he'll like it and i have like no stocking stuffers for him so this was a good purchase today good find so it was fun i think i may try to get her something else because i feel like just a mug is kind of like boring and lame but i honestly don't know what to get her i don't know her crazy well so we may just go do some general shopping over the next couple of days because i need it before saturday preferably even though market like emailed us because i have a feeling they're going to cancel this weekend and they were like do we want to reschedule to sunday or next weekend <laughs> or not do it at all which we had an event request for sunday that we were originally going to go with but now i'm thinking she may cancel anyways because she has yet to contact us which is just so disrespectful guys if you never if you don't want to work with someone please tell them that and just let them know like it's just respectful to everyone involved not wasting anyone's time so we will see what happens that would be very unfortunate if we didn't get to do this market because we came because we said we'd do this event because it would just put us in a really bad spot because the market would be a lot more money's worth but we're gonna hope it works out um i'm feeling better though i think just getting out and doing things and this was a fun little venture and i had fun and traffic wasn't too bad i made it back in good time drinking my coffee i'm starting to perk up so i definitely want to work on the ornaments tonight i should have time i didn't really get a lot of running in so we are gonna maybe do a workout later but Nathan should be going to the gym tonight, hopefully, and I'll have some time to work on the ornaments. It'll be fun because it'll be like dark out. But I'm gonna go ahead and start on dinner. It's almost four. We have some dishes already in the sink and like that need to be cleaned from Nathan cooking today. So I just wanna get that all set up so I can have like a clean space and surface for dinner tonight. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on dinner and then I'll check in with y'all later, but we'll be working on putting ornaments on the tree and decorating the tree. I'm so, so, so excited. All right, 
let's get started. <laughs> Look at the tree. Is it not beautiful? It still has no decorations, but it's so pretty. All right, I am in a much better mood. We have improved from earlier. I got a shower, which just feels so good. Got my hair clean and healthy and washed, so that was good. I cooked dinner, which y'all saw. The teriyaki ground turkey rice bowl is so good. We serve them with jasmine rice. I always end up putting just a little bit of um, this general Sioux sauce from the grocery store on it, and it's perfection. So really good and actually really filling if you have a lot of rice with it. So I typically do like a whole packet of rice, and then I'll just have like a cup of the turkey, and it's super good. So that was good and we finally, finally got the contract back from the person who wanted to book us on Sunday. So that's good. The only thing that slightly is anxiety inducing is that on Saturday the market, it does sound like it's probably going to be canceled. They're asking about possibly rescheduling dates and one of the days they might reschedule to is Sunday, which obviously with this event we can't do. So. We'll see. I have high hopes though people would pick a Saturday over a Sunday just because I feel like people go to church and that's just like bad timing for everyone. So we're going to hope for the best. And one of my friends got her like dream job today, which is just so exciting. So she texted me. It's kind of funny because it was kind of my dream job in a way. Like I thought that's what I wanted to do. I truly believe your dream job like changes as you grow and even like you can get your dream job and like have a different dream job after that like i feel like sometimes we really like romanticize our dream dream jobs that like you know we change we grow we have different passions and hobbies and all the things so that can change as you go so i'm so happy for her though she was really wanting it it was a big stretch for her to even apply i'm so so happy for her oh it's just so much joy and seeing other people have joy and see dreams come true so anyways i'm in a little bit of a sappy mood but nathan is off at the gym i think he went to go get a haircut before so he's probably gonna be a while so i think we're gonna get started on the tree i need to fluff it up here in a second so we're gonna work on that first fluffing I'm definitely gonna put on a movie, honestly. We need to get full Christmas vibes, even though I'm listening to my audiobook and it is so good and it's like a big cliffhanger at the moment, but 
we're gonna hold off and i think i want to watch like christmas with the cranks i love christmas with the cranks i think it's an amazing movie so i'm gonna see if i can find that on a streaming service hopefully and yeah i'm gonna make some hot cocoa maybe and all the good things so i'm so excited let's have a beautiful festive christmas night in case anyone wanted to know i'm horrified because they took christmas with the cranks off netflix so there's nowhere to watch it it's on a stars add-on on hulu which who has stars no one so i don't own it so now i have to own it so amazon says it can only ship in time by saturday december 18th which we leave on monday so that's not gonna work so i found it at walmart for five dollars with the holiday which i've never seen but everyone has been hyping it up lately like the other day at church the community pastor went up and asked what everyone's favorite christmas movie was and she said hers was the holiday and i'm like is is that a christmas movie i have no idea so we're gonna have to go buy it buy it most definitely so that will be a tomorrow project for sure because we're getting it because i have to have it because that's like one of my favorites so we're gonna reassess the list and decide on a movie maybe it'll be like santa claus or i could do eloise because i have eloise and i love that maybe i should watch more than once i have to go find it in all my packages but i know i bought it so maybe we'll watch that how did I not know this was a Disney movie? You cannot find it on Disney. I'm like 95% positive. I watched this on like ABC Family every morning on Christmas morning and I would wake up really early. I'd like look at the TV guide to see what time it came on so I could watch this movie. I thought it was the best thing in the world. So, so excited. <laughs> And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way But as long as you're around, everything will be okay holiday with you tomorrow it is christmas the first for me and you i longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere just us and no one else i've decorated everything to be perfect for this week tomorrow Here is our sweet little ornament collection. We have a lot of little memory ones. So this one we got from the German Christmas market this year. We have a lot of random Disney ones. We just like to collect if they're our favorite characters. Make them a stitch. That one is from Aladdin um, from the Broadway show in it that came to Atlanta. We have this sweet one that has a year on the back of it. We have this sweet little heart that has all of like things that represent our story we obviously have up we love up um we have our first christmas ornament i think we actually have two of those we have this one which was from when we got engaged this one from when we went on our honeymoon but we got it to represent our wedding day we have holly and jolly we have another one somewhere Galaxy's Edge, Amelia Island, where my parents live. We have a Nashville ornament from when we traveled there. Another engaged ornament, to more up ornaments. One from Hawaii. One from our trip to Disneyland on our honeymoon. We have a Pluto. We like to collect the ones that have years that like represent something to us or that we really like. I have a sweet little ceramic turtle. I love Fantasia. Tangled's tenure, Mickey. Simba, the Fab Five, Olaf, there's another Fantasia one because I love Fantasia, we have Pascal, and another little stitch ornament that one was from a small business, Mickey and Minnie, we have a little Atlanta mug, Baymax, Goofy, there's the Holly, we have a coffee 
ornaments very appropriate these little lace ornaments are from my mom's grandmother I think um, and we've collected them as a family and every single one of the girls has some of these ornaments so we all have them so they're special to us just because they're made by family the Hilton head ornament from my bachelorette trip with my friends Georgia Southern, Leland Stitch, we love Leland Stitch. This one was from a race I won. Um, we have an Atlanta ornament, a nursing ornament under that. This was from the Lion King on Broadway. We saw here in Atlanta, we have a little Georgia mug, I'm pretty sure. Or an Atlanta mug, one of the two. But yeah, I think that's it. They're all super special. We like to collect ornaments because they mean a lot to us. So, all super meaningful, special, sweet ornaments. All right, friends, it is 11.40. I didn't even decorate the trees. Oh, we're just gonna save it to tomorrow because I got all of the ornaments out and laid out. I like to like lay them all out before we put them on the tree so I can split up which trees they're gonna go on. So we are going to save that for tomorrow because we did not get to that as late. I've had a glass of wine, I'm pretty tired. So I'm gonna have a late little midnight snack and then head to bed. Nathan has to go into the office tomorrow. So we're gonna get a good head start on tomorrow. And yeah, it's been a fun day though. I'm feeling so much better after the chaos and anxiety that was this day. So it just goes to show that like you can really turn your days around and have a good mindset and just try to combat those kind of feelings and just enjoy your day to the fullest so thank you for coming along on this fun little day with me and i will see you in the next one bye friends